Hey, what up, boys? Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day or a great night. Today, we're finally getting into the King's Ultra Grey Sword. It's gonna be another interesting process to acquire, but we'll get it done, of course. I'm gonna have a poll once again on my channel, a few other weapons, so you guys can go ahead and decide which one you wanna see next. But yeah, let's get right into it. In the meantime, I'm gonna be using the Pursuer's uh, Ultra Grey Sword, which requires 30 strength and 18 dexterity. And then the King's Ultra Grey Sword requires 50 strength and 10 dexterity. Yeah, so I'm gonna start off as a bandit class and a bonfire aesthetic. I tried my best. If you know, you know. If you don't know, I'll give you a hint. I never start with a bandit class, actually crazy. So I decided to do it today just because uh, I always start with a warrior class and just switch it up, you know, just for fun. Once again, I need a million souls to go to Shrine of Winter to get to Vendrick, of course. We gotta get a million souls to go to Shrine of Winter, kill Dragon Rider, Looking Glass Knight, uh, Demon of Song, Velstat. We can meet Vendrick where the King's Ring is. If I can kill him there, that'd be awesome. If not, I'll have to get the King's Ring, head towards Guardian Dragon, kill him. That way I can go talk to Ancient Dragon at the Ashen Mist Heart so I can go get some more Souls of a Giants, which would make my time with Vendrick a lot easier. We need a lot of souls, so... Who have I killed more, Ryan or Malin? Honestly, I don't know. All right, pick up a set. There we go. Get some more souls along the way. I cannot wait to try this out. Never did a run with the King's Ultra Greatsword before, so I'm really excited to see. I could use just the regular Ultra Greatsword. I figured why not just incorporate the uh, Pursuer's Ultra Greatsword in this video and use that in the meantime, because I think that'd be pretty fun to use. Go ahead and take out Dragon Rider so I can get some souls, of course. I'm gonna need all the souls I can get. I'm not fighting you legit this time. Nope. Yo, my guy looking devious, not gonna lie. That's a skill issue right there, bro. Go ahead and take out Lysia as well. Hit her over the edge. Pick up her keys. We can go to uh, Huntsman Corpse later on, of course. For those who don't know, you cannot respawn a second King's Ultra Great Sword with a Bonfire Aesthetic. Uh, even if you kill Vendrick again, the soul you pick up in Shrine of Amana will not respawn. So even if I wanted to Power Stance, I couldn't. As crazy as that sounds, quickly open up the chest, grab it and go. Great Sword. I'm gonna use that against uh, the Pursuer. Pick up a large Soul for Proud Knight. Get another Tanai Shard. A Soul for Proud Knight. Oh yeah, that's how you do it, baby. Fragment Branch of Yore, beautiful. And take out the Lizard, give me some Tanai Shards, I'll reinforce the Greatsword in the meantime with that. And I need Petrified Dragon Bones for the Pursuer's Ultra Greatsword and the uh, King's Ultra Greatsword. Probably gonna head to the uh, Sun Ken DLC, that's the easiest spot to get some Petrified Dragon Bones. So yeah, we get 14 Strength, so we can two-hand this uh, bad boy. Head straight to the Forest of the Fallen Giants. Alright, we'll go ahead and buy a few items. The Key, of course, one Bright Bug, two Fire Bombs, and ten Life Gems as usual. Talk to her, get the Ring, talk to her some more, get that pussy. I mean, uh, one shot my dude? Probably. Hell yeah. Two Tana Shards, nice. All right, head back to the Blacksmith and reinforce this bad boy to plus four. Nice. Wanna head over here? Go ahead and hit that sh you stupid ass turtle, bro. And we can kill the Pursuer here, for those who don't know, and get his soul, so we don't have to kill last Giant. We should do enough damage, yeah, that's enough. Period with style. That King's Ultra Greatsword build coming in. Oh, two in a row? Fam. And there we go, Ring of Blades and Silver Pursuer. As soon as we kill uh, Flexile Sentry, we can head towards Trade and trade that for the uh, Pursuer's Greatsword. I'll get the uh, quest line for the Engraved Gauntlets as well. Get some devious critical hits, hopefully. Get those fire bombs that I got earlier. That's an extra 20 more damage, yeah? Holy fam, I'm about to give all ladies a death oz. All right, my dude's gonna fall. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Why does that happen every time? Cat Ring. I'm gonna need that to go to the gutter, of course, to head towards the uh, Sun Ken DLC. So there we go, buy the Cat Ring, nice. But I'll just head over here to get the Chlorinthy Ring. These heavy-ass weapons that consume a lot of endurance. Chlorinthy Ring comes in use very much. In the meantime, go see my homie Bugsy too, of course. That's the main reason why I'm coming here. You gotta dance, and then I'll take you ass for a walk. Shit, homie, chill, bro. I said dance, not go crazy. Did you bring the marshmallows? The hot chocolate? The bad bitches? You bring them? Can I count on you to bring some hoes? Yeah, let's go. He doesn't like going too far, I don't know why. Get a Silver Proud Knight, nice. All right, you had your fun. Get a second Silver Proud Knight. All right, get a third soul over here. Get RTSR. Another Silver Proud Knight. Another soul right there. All right, Chlorinthy Ring plus one. Soul of a Brave Warrior. Another soul of a Brave Warrior. Pick up a soul of a Brave Warrior. All right, go ahead and get this Lizard. Get some Tainite Chunks and some Shards. Nice. I'll get another chunk up here in that chest. There it is, Tainite Chunk and a Pitch by Dragon Bone. Another soul and the last soul in the area. Nice. Talk to Professor Xavier. Get the quest line going. Make my way inside the gutter. Get rid of this lizard. Pick up a large Tanai shard. All right, pick up a few items here. Bring a branch of your. I do need that. All right, head over here. Jump down. Jump down again. Go around. Get a Tanai chunk. Another fragment branch of your, and we're chilling. Let's go ahead and pop all these souls from forty-eight thousand to eighty-six thousand. That's busted. Who are you posing for? Ain't no Vogue magazine, but hey, why are you rocking your feet back and forward, huh? Well, you're not cute, bro. You a little cute, okay? I'll give you that, but relax. Oh, it's a chunk. I'll take that. 
Another chunk. Another shard. Another shard. Nice. Oh. Tiny chunk. Uh, yeah, another shard. What is that? Another shard. Nice. Yeah, there we go. There's that chunk. Insert a Pharaoh's lock stone into here once again. Open up the door. Open up this chest. All right, there it is. Tiny slab. We're good to go. All right, and reinforce this guy to plus 10. Nice. All right, we're chilling. 10 vigor, 18 endurance, 30 strength, 18 uh, dexterity, and 7 adaptability. Hail to the yeah, 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 brother. I got a charcoal pine resin from one of those uh, explosion guys on the way to gutter, and it's pretty convenient because flexile sentry is weak to fires. Let's see this plus 10 fire gray sword. Oh, beautiful. You know what? Why don't we just use this instead? I love this weapon so much. I'll get a gold pine resin. Hell yeah. Pick up the key. We're going to need that, of course. All right, then open up this with the key that we just got. Head in the cage. Go ahead and drop down here. Pick up an aesthetic while I'm at it. So why not? All right, there we go. Nice. Oh, I lack intelligence. You're lying. I'll just get two more into intelligence. All right. And go ahead and trade. There it is. Pursuer's Ultra Great Sword. Let's go ahead and take that bad boy with us. I get power stance up, maybe. That would be kind of cool. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Forgotten Key. All right, there we go. Get his ass. So we get the Forgotten Key, of course, and the Soul of a Giant. That's going to make me do a little bit more damage against Ventric as well. And we'll pick up a Petrified Dragon Bone as well. Open up this door with the Forgotten Key. And there it is. Get that DLC key. I'll get a stab just in case if I need it. There we go. It is nice to see you, my friend. All right, let's clap them cheeks. Here we go. Oh, baby. As usual, broken. I love this shit. Oh, yeah. All right, you dead. Just like that, on to the DLC. Clean up on aisle 7. Real ones. Loot this corpse. Get a silver gray hero. 20,000 souls. There is a contraption in the ceiling. Once again, thank you boys for showing me this. Open up the chest. Bada bing, bada boom. Three petrified dragon bones and five twinkling tinites. Busted. Get a silver hero. 10,000 souls. Get three more petrified dragon bones. Get some bolt stones in the meantime as well. Just in case if I need them. I have no idea if the king's ultra great sword is infusible. Also, what the hell is this, bro? Pick up the flint's ring. Extra 50 more damage. Hell yeah. And get the dragon stone in the meantime. All right, pick up that eternal sanctum key. We'll pick up three more right here. Nice. Now we're at 10. Curses upon you. As Mullen says. Wrong. No, no. Oh, my souls. We'll probably get our souls back farming these dudes. Which one is it? This one? Okay, it's that one. Two petrified dragon bones. The other ones don't have petrified dragon bones. The hat for some item discovery. Yep. Right in the crotch. Oh, man. Petrified dragon bone and a watch dragon parma. That's going to increase my item discovery. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Plus four and plus five. 566 on the Pursuer's Ultra Great Sword. 14 uh, Vigor, Endurance 22, 40 Strength, and 8 Adaptability. A lot more damage on both of them. Go ahead and open this up with the key. I'll get two more Bonfire Aesthetics. Yeah, I might use this later on. Might need Clutch Ring. I'll get the... Uh, Bright bugs, nice, two of those. And then pick up the ascetics, nice, three of them. All right, back to Ron. Let's farm his ass a shit ton. And let's go. Oh, yeah, baby, still good. Beautiful. Burn another ascetic. Yeah, definitely gonna have over a million once I pop my souls. It should be at 1,119,000. Beautiful. Now we got enough souls to go to Shine of Winter. I need 30 times 1.5 and 18 times 1.5. 45 strength, 27 dexterity. Yo, we got every single attribute leveled up. That's crazy. So 15 Vigor, 32 Endurance, 12 Vitality, 10 Attunement for one Attunement slot, 45 Strength and 27 Dexterity, 10 Adaptability, 16 Intelligence, and 14 Faith. Hell yeah, level 128. I can Power Stance. Hell yeah. I'm gonna head to Falcon, get Dark Weapon, of course. What are you buying? Give me that Dark Weapon. We can go ahead and open up this bad boy. There is a Petrified Dragon Bone right here. Pick that bad boy up. Twin Dragon Riders hopping off a jet ski. Let's go. All right, for sure, like a two-shot, 100%. Oh, yeah, that shit's crazy as hell. This is actually beautiful to have in the meantime. So easy. What's up, shorties? Trying to get down to business? When I kill looking glass night, the bright bugs are going to replenish one more time, and that's it. So I got to make sure to buy these. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Just melt him. Oh, my dark weapon wore off so fast because I have no intelligence. Just finish him off. Beautiful, bro. And yo, even more aesthetics in this chest. And you get three more aesthetics there. If I theoretically kill Ron seven more times, I'll be like level 210, honestly. I believe the King's Ultra Grey Sword is down that path. So once we kill Vendrick, we can open up this door. There it is, Sunlight Blade. Let's go, Chief. I said, bitch. What the hell is that? Oh, baby. All right, this should finish it off. Hold up. L1, L2? Deadly. All right, we'll just buy like five of these. Yeah, that's good enough. I'm gonna respec. I'm gonna get five slots because i'm gonna get sacred oath too i uh we need to farm ron a little bit because i need 36 faith boom nice do it again and again and again and again until we're so rich that we could buy amazon and we'll pow beautiful bro we need more we'll come back let's go ahead and pop these here 
I'll get 40 faith, yeah. Just dump it all into faith. Let's go ahead and take out Velstat. And hopefully take out Vendrick right now. Fade his attack. And then we'll pop a bright bug. Pop that bright bug. Oh, we are shining. Oh, no, no. He bonked my ass. Disrespect, man. See the damage. Oh, yeah, baby. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, Lord have mercy. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, this thing is deadly. Finish it off with an R2. Pow. Oh, that was beautiful. I'm glad I power stance these. So let me go ahead and get that uh, King's Ring. I'll go back to Strayed, get Sacred Oath, and then we'll come back for Ventrix. See if we can take him on right now. What are you buying? Give me that Sacred Oath. Go ahead and attune that. Nice. Yeah, I'll get more Endurance and that's it. Kind of nervous because if it's going to take a long ass time and I die like halfway through, that's going to be quite the agony. Redoing it again. Why are you still here? Yo, Firekeeper is going to watch too. Let's go. Watch me whoop his ass. This might take a while to aggro him, honestly. Bro, I hit you so many times. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, I tickle him. What is that damage? <laughs> this is, is going to take a while, boys. Oh lord. And I have Sacred Oath and Sunlight Blade. Oh my goodness. Okay, no, that's the problem. See, he hits like a truck. He's not bad. He's not a hard boss. He's just intimidating. Because if he hits you twice, you're dead. He's using the ruler sword, right? So he must have so much souls to be doing that much damage. But how? He's like hollowed and shit. Those restrictions are not bound to him, I guess. Oh, no, no, this is bad. Whoa, 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 what is that? What the f*** was that? What was that attack? I've never seen that attack in my universe of living. How does this man have that, bro? Yo, he just wanted to curse me so we can both look alike. Twin bitches. No, no, no. All right, now I know it's doable. It's just going to take some time. That's it. Blood clot. We almost got him. Almost there. This shit takes a while. Odds I die. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Great sword almost broke. It's not that hard. It's just time consuming. And if you let your guard down once, he hits you twice, you are dead. Open up this. There we go. Pick this up. Soul of the king. That's right. Oh, and the king's, oh yeah, of course we're putting that on. That thing weighs a lot though. The helmet, oh yeah, of course. My intelligence by three and my faith by three. That's awesome. Why is it always the helmet that increases your stats? Nothing else. It's never like the armor or like the gauntlet. Buy that fragrant branch of yore. Oh, I might as well buy the bright bugs, hell yeah. All right, free up the lion. One shot his ass. Hell yeah, get the fanky. All right, open up this with the fanky. Free her up. Ornifex effects is all good to go. We'll catch her in Brightstone Cove. All right, here we go. Knock off Quayleg. Let's go. Holy fam, what is this damage? <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Bro, it's too easy. No, 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 no. Get that shit out of here. Bless me up. Holy fam. Y'all getting one shot regardless, fam. I do not need to power. They're running away, bro. They know better. All right, we can also pick up a petrified dragon bone and trade. Look at that beauty. King's Ultra Greatsword. All right, go ahead and trade that. First one's free, of course. Nice. And we can reinforce it a little bit. Plus two. I think it's the same moveset as a Crypt Black Sword. It would be nice to get two of them, but I would have to go to New Game Plus to get two of them. Let's go get those Petrified Dragon Bones. Oh, is that one? That's one. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. How much do we have? Three? Only three? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Another one. Oh, there's one. Huh. His body dismantled. That was weird as hell. There's one. Nice. Mm-hmm. Man, I only got nine. I need three more. This one right here. Boom! He gives he gives one. Okay. We're gonna go to Covenant of Champions so the dragons respawn. Oh, there's one. Nice. Give me that shit. Beautiful. He's the one. He's the one. I knew it. I need 50 strength and one-handed, fam. Ah, uh, two more. 591. Holy. 651. 711. Keep that shit open. We finally got it. The plus five. All right, let's go ahead and take our last giant now. All right, to summarize it, King's Ultra Great Sword to plus five. Cleric Sacred Time for Sacred Oath and Sunlight Blade. Corinthy Ring, Flynn's Ring, Ring of Blades. Red tier sun ring. Oh man. Oh man. There's the damage. I love to see it. Yeah, as you can see, Pursuer's not here because we killed him earlier. Grab that dull ember. Beautiful. All right, McDonald's stuff. Hook me up, please. Moment of truth. Oh, fantastic. A hundred more damage, basically. 15 damage as well. Yeah. With Sacred Oath, 844. Okay. Yo, I just realized. I'm on Covenant of Champions. I forgot to leave. Hold on, bro. Let me get the hell out of here. No, no, no. I was wondering why I wasn't one-shotting the enemies. We fought against Last Giant on Covenant of Champions. So he had way more HP. Go ahead and abandon that shit. Beautiful, dog. And boom. Takes a lot of endurance. Imagine you could parry Ron. That'd be crazy. 50 strength to one-hand it if I want to. And then 54 faith for max duration on Sunlight Blade. So once we get the engraved gauntlets, that's it. Just taking out the bosses. And on the way to that, we'll get the uh, Ring of Blades plus one. Once we kill Smelter Demon. Uriga Kingo. All right, Skeleton Lords, let's get ready for this shit. My guy, you sure you want to fight? Let's whoop some ass, baby. One shot for sure. Oh, before it even landed. That's a little unfair. Jeez Louise. 
It's actually a joke. Get the wheel guys first. Hell yeah. Gather around, tough boys. Yo, whether you're blocking or not, it's not going to matter. You're getting one shot. Just swing away, bro. Swing. Swing that shit. Swing. Oh, you're the last one. I feel bad for you. Oh, that range is actually terrible. Yo, RTS army, fam. Beautiful. Here we go. Oh, baby. Wait, I, I was expecting more, low-key. Bounce that ass back, bro. Relax. Oh, he's like tanky. Damn, why is he so tanky? Just gotta go see Creighton. There he is. Let's go. Oh, looks like you're dying first. All right, get that key. Blow. Oh, we just have enough. We just have enough equip load. Bad gal mitha. Let's go. Oh, baby, come on. Let me smack that. Oh, relax. Oh, shit, bro. That was a big attack. That roll attack is beautiful, man. So fast and powerful. Let's do this shit. Come on, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Half his HP. Hold up, bro. Is he going to blow up? No, he's not. It's okay. We got him. Kill his ass. <laughs> Yo, that was so fast. He didn't even finish up his first buffing up phase. See, that doesn't make any sense. I did so much damage against him, but not a lot of damage against Covetous Demon. Let's go ahead and take out the Pursuer down here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Critical. What the hell? Hold up, bro. That's so busted. Wait a minute. Okay, Ring of Blades plus one. That's an extra seven more damage. Yeah. Let me go back to that Pursuer in the Lost Bastille. Yeah, that's stupid. Three hits. Oh my goodness. So we should be doing damage against like Throne Watchers because they have armor too. I don't know if that's how it works, but are you sure you want to fight? Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh, that's the most beautiful way to take her out. I didn't know this R2 attack knocks them over. Oh, baby. Here we go. Hit his jaw. Holy fam. Oh my god, I could have 0 to 100 if I critical hit him. And... Oh, that shit was too fast. That was like 5 seconds. Alright, let's go ahead and delete Law Center. Oh, you're not ready. Oh, you is not ready. Give me a critical hit, come on. Be generous. Oh lord, that roll attack is beautiful. Like, you roll and it positions itself back into where the enemy is. It has some really good tracking. Alright, baby, come on. R1, R2. Oh, 75% of her HP. And... Yo, 3 hits? That is deadly. No World Cup, unfortunately. Alright, time to bust your ass open. Pause. Okay, never mind. Holy. Holy. Oh, man. If he didn't step back, that would have been a three-hit combo. He's still dead. Actually, lovely. Oh, that was clean. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Holy fam critical. Oh, shit. I'm just going to swing away, bro. Oh, my days. Yo, for a weapon that's so short, I'm actually getting pretty lucky with the hitboxes. It's not the tallest gray sword. Somehow, I'm managing to hit them pretty well. Look at King Orega Kinga. Y'all saw that shit? That was a sick shot. All right, come on. Give me some critical, some moist critical hits. Come on. Here we go. Come on, baby. Oh, critical would have done it. Oh, no, 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 no. Relax. It's not how it works. You die, not me. Kill this dude. That hurts. Good. Pick up a set from uh, the lady and the hood, which gives me more souls than the Teldora set by the robe, which gives me more souls than the uh, Teldora robe. So I'll just get more endurance and adaptability. Dark Lurker time. Oh, yeah. She has no armor, though. It's fine. I'll do damage regardless. Oh, yeah. Buffing up already? I'll finish her off quickly. No. She backed away. Oh, I don't like that. Kill this bitch. Yeah, buddy. Oh, her body went flying. That was not bad. That was not bad indeed. It even says in the description, actually. Inflicts heavy damage on enemy armor. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You're nice. I need that extra one for sure. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, that's not bad. Curses upon... Oh, no. Come on, buddy. Come here. Let me smack them toes. Get your ass over here. Yeah, buddy. Oh, this is going to be right here. Watch. Look at that creepy ass dude, bro, waiting for me. So I just want to talk to him here. That way I can talk to him next before Ancient Dragon to complete his quest line so I can fight him in the throne, of course. Because you bet I want to beat his ass 100%. All right, buddy. Come on. Quit the jibber jabber. Come on. Nice. There we go. RTSR. Beautiful. Hopefully we can annihilate him. He's got no armor. Oh, but that's good damage, though. For me. Oh, baby, the damage, though. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. R1, R1, R2. Yeah, that's a good amount. Do it again. Actually, no. One more combo. Nice. I love it. 18 vigor, 40 endurance, 16 adaptability. Okay, who's next? Giant Lord. Break the mankles. Holy fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the critical. <laughs> I love it. And yo, we got all souls of a giant. Now we can take on Vendrick. 
Oh wait, could fight him again, but why? Why would I want to do that? Because I'm crazy, so I'll do it. Velstad on New Game Plus, let's go. Here we go, round two. Holy fam, still good as hell. Now whoop that ass. Imagine fighting Vendrick and Velstad at the same time. That'd be crazy. The Orsine and Smo of DS2. <laughs> All right, wrap it up. Yeah, that's pretty good indeed, bro. It's not gonna take long this time, baby. Right away, aggro. Yeah, that's right, homie. Look what I got. Your favorite weapon, no? That's more like it. Oh, the critical too? That's more like it. I'm not intimidated no more. Actually, New Game Plus, he'll probably one-shot me with like the strong attack. I don't want to find out. Don't do that curse ball again, bro. That thing was terrifying. You should have used this sword instead. Maybe you would have stood a chance. <laughs> Durance, Vigor, hell yeah. So far, this weapon has been amazing. Let's see what we got. Oh, man. Go ahead and buff up. Oh, baby, the damage. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, this weapon is awesome. You guys are not wrong about this. I'm having a lot of fun with this, man. Damn. All right, let's see this on the Chandra. Oh, man. That is really good. Three hits. Jeez. Finish it off, baby. Goodbye, shoddy. I will right, we'll whack him a few times here. Dude, he puts up his fire so fast. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Oh, hell yeah. I'll attack you now. If that thing hits me. Oh, finish it off. Finish it off. Let's go. I'm pretty sure I was like one second away from being blasted. That forbidden sun attack that he does. I have no idea how much damage it does, but it looks menacing as hell. Considering how much time it takes to charge up, I'm assuming it's probably going to one-shot me, so... I got really lucky in finishing him off. Breeze, absolute breeze. Like, I didn't have to sit up in my chair once, you know. Neither was I on the edge of my chair. I was just neutral. You know, this shit was too easy. Very fun weapon, does a lot of damage. Now it's time to see how the damage is going to perform against the big boys in the DLC, as you guys know. I'm assuming it's going to do really good against Fume Knight and Sir Alone, considering they're wearing heavy armor. And then Ivory King, he also has heavy armor, so... I think this weapon is perfect for DLC, based on my predictions, but maybe we'll be wrong. Maybe it's not going to be as good, but we'll just have to wait and see. Oh my god. I totally forgot about Rune Sentinels and Gargoyles. I just realized that till now. Oh, <laughs> what the? Actually, first, let me go ahead and take out the Twin Pursuers, and then I'll get the Ring of Blades plus two, and then I'll take out Rune Sentinels. Oh, that's good damage. Hell yeah. What the? He stopped. Kinga. Oh, they got Kinga. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Nice. All right, we got him. Ring of Blades plus two. There it is. So that's an extra eight more damage. Nice. Can I get a one shot, please? Oh, oh man, almost. Critical, perhaps? Two hits, I'll take two hits any day of the week, bro. Oh, no critical today. Let's see. Oh, almost. You next. Come on, one shot his ass. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I think that was a critical hit. I didn't hear it quite properly, though. Nice, uh, nice bonk. And never mind, it wasn't a critical. Maybe the counter damage, that's why. Ready? Hell yeah. <laughs> Deja vu. Ha. Ah, uh, it's satisfaction. Get that bright bug. Burner and aesthetic right here. Again. Oh, not a one shot. Good enough. And another bright bug. Yeah, we got three. We can get two more after we kill the gang fight and pop an aesthetic over there. Excuse you, Scooby Doo. I'll get one more vitality so I'm not fat rolling. Endurance, adaptability. Okay, looks good. Let's do this. She. Oh, right off the bat. Okay. Oh, that was a critical. Good start. Good start indeed. Whack a mole, homie. Oh, baby. I'm going in. I don't care what the repercussions. Homie, what's up? Oh, hell no. One more hit. Boom. Oh, he dodged it. This guy's a smooth criminal. Boom. Close one. Infinite stagger. Pussy strat engaged. <laughs> Infinite. Hello, buddy. How are you? Oh, half his HP, fam. Where are you going? It don't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, you good, homie? Are you good? Are you good? Dumbass. This guy gave up, honestly. All right. There's one knight freed up. Oh, the boys are coming. Let's go. All right. Open up this chest. Bling blau. Two more bright bugs. Now we got four. All right. There's the second knight. All right. There's the last knight. We got an ivory king to kill. All right. We ready, boys? Autobots roll out in this bitch. Boom! I distract him. Let's go. Gotta kill this guy first. All three hits. My guy's going in. I got your back, homie. No, 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 no. Oh, baby. Yo, look at this damage. <laughs> what the Let's finish him off. No, don't kill him. Oh, we barely got him. 
<laughs> we barely got him in time. Good shit, my guy. So yeah, I was right in my prediction that this thing was going to do a lot of damage because uh, Ivory King has uh, heavy armor. This thing is going to inflict heavy damage on him. So I think we should be good for like Sir Alone and Fume Knight. Probably even uh, Blue Smelter Demon as well. Elena and Slumbering Dragon, probably not as much since they don't have armor, I believe. Uh, maybe Elena does, but uh, I don't know. So far, that was good though. Hell yeah. Crown of the Ivory King. All right. Just... Uh, Two more to go. We're going to go ahead and wrap up uh, Fume Knight DLC first. Since we always do that last, I'm going to do it second this time. And then we'll do some Brain Dragon uh, last. Damn, it's a one shot without a critical hit. Yo, this weapon is actually perfect for DLC. R2. Yo, that damage is stupid. Too easy. Okay. All right, here we go. Sacred Oath. Sunlight Blade, Dodge, Bright Bug, oh man, I am outplaying him like crazy fam, let's see the damage, yeah man, no, that's fine with me, oh yeah, that's really good, oh man, what is you doing, you tripping homie, oh shit, that was a critical too, oh man, if he wasn't buffing up, that would have been a huge chunk, bro, what is this damage, it's actually crazy, like this weapon is so good for DLC segments, buddy, you are dead, I hate to tell you, that was way too fast. Didn't even get hit once. All right, pop that sunlight blade, sacred oath, bright bug. Let's do it. See the damage. I'm going all out. Oh, that's really good. That's phenomenal, fam. That's that's more than good. What am I talking about? Oh, he's buffing up already. Okay. No, you don't. No oh, critical hits. Damn. It's still really good. There's the crown of the old Iron King. We are doing so much damage, it's incredible. Sir Alone's gonna be a breeze. Imagine having two of these. Dear God, that would be absolutely crazy. Let's get more adaptability, vigor, hell yeah. Sir Alone, because he gets no hose. Let's go. Samurai Fighto. Oh, forget the seppuku. I'm just gonna go all in then. Let's go. Oh, you move too much. Bro, move so much. This is not tap tap, dance, revenge, whatever that game is called. Okay, here, now it's my opportunity. Oh, hell yeah. Come on. Oh, there's the double hit, finally. Finish it off with a jump attack. Yeah, let's go wrap it up in this Sunken DLC. Oh, hell yeah. Come here, buddy. Holy fam. Yo, we obliterated him. Oh, I can finally stagger them with this shit. Alright, you dead. Trust you, homie. Let me get a backstab. Hell yeah. I'll do it again. Disrespect your ass. Yeah, buddy. Alright, I'm gonna burn an aesthetic here. That's gonna respawn the bright bugs because I have none. I didn't even use one against that fight. And there it is, two bright bugs. All right, let's get out. What up, Shardy? Yeah, damn the damage. Keep going. No, 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 no. All right, that was really fast. Splendid. Give me a worthy battle. Oh, the critical to begin with. I love it. Oh, I missed him. Once again, physically, not emotionally. He breathed in fire. Not like that. Some really good damage though. Jeez. Holy fam, count it up, bro. Yo, I'm just gonna wrap it up, fam. And... No! Oh, I'm toxic. Finish it off! Yeah, buddy. Phenomenal. I thought it wasn't gonna be as good because he's not wearing any armor. But no, that still was pretty good. I am 100% satisfied with that. Yo, if we had all the armor equipped, we'd be at 101%. This thing weighs a shit ton. That's crazy. But yeah, there we go. That was amazing. Honestly, a lot of fun. Thank you, boys, for suggesting that. And for everyone who voted for that, thank you, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. So obviously, the main component of the video, the King's Ultra Grey Sword. First time ever doing a run with it before. And it's, uh, to my surprise, really good. Especially for DLC parts, as you guys just saw. We just melted all the DLC bosses. And then we had the Cleric Sacred Chime for Sacred Oath and Sunlight Blade, of course. Chlorine Three Ring plus one. Flynn's Ring for more damage, of course. Uh, Lightning Clutch Ring for more damage. And Ring of Blades plus two, as usual, for more damage. We had the King's Crown, which gave me... Didn't really increase my damage by that much. Only by one. I just put it on for fashion. And then, of course, Engraved Gauntlets, uh, the classic, the bread and butter. Engraved Gauntlets, Flynn's Ring, all this stuff. Yeah, those critical hits are always nice when you get them. As for the stats, level 214. Pretty much stopped leveling up, like, strength and faith at, like, a level 160 or 70. From there on out, it, it was just adaptability, endurance, and vigor. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, boys. As always, thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you guys for the comments and all the positive.
positivity, all the support, all the love. I really appreciate it, boys. Yeah, so as I said in the beginning, I'm gonna have a poll consisting of a few other builds. Let me know what you guys wanna see next by voting. You can check out the poll on my uh, channel under the community tab. And I will be streaming soon. So uh, if you guys are interested in watching a stream of me uh, playing, you know, other games or even like Dark Souls, the link will be in the description. So I won't be streaming as much until I have more time because I'm still working full time. You know, once I have more time to stream, I'll definitely be doing it more often just so I can connect and talk with you guys more. The whole gaming aspect is cool, but I mainly just want to stream so I can, you know, chat with you guys and stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed once again. Hope you guys have a great day or great night. I'll see you all in the next one. All right. Take it easy, boys.